Positive Christianity recently presented a very popular piece on positive daily inspiration on setting goals. I said something in there. I say in every goal that I set and goal list, I say this or something better. I always take my goals to God, but more than that, I listen. I listen for God's plans for me. And often, often, those plans are so much higher than Chris could ever conceive of or in the moment, to be honest with you, believe in. My policy has always been to ask God to help me set goals because I believe that God has a plan for every person. God has a plan for me, and God has a plan for you. Now, you have free will. You can accept that plan of all good or reject it. Proverbs 21, verse 5, in the Message Bible says, Careful planning puts you ahead in the long run. Hurry and scurry puts you further behind. Now perhaps you have a clearly defined plan for the future. But even if you don't, rest assured, God does. Your God has a definite plan for every aspect of your life. And to follow the guidance of God is the wise thing to do. You Simply ask God to show you the way. Now, listening to God can be difficult at times because God speaks in a quieter voice than we often want as a human being. We want God to sound like Charlton Heston uh, coming through the thunderous clouds. But often it is the still small voice of God. That is why it is so important for us to carve out solitary moments with God throughout the day and prayerfully seek God's wisdom and God's will. So as you make preparations for the next stage of your life's journey, be sure to consult the ultimate source of wisdom. When you allow God to guide your steps, when you allow God's plans to become your plans, you will be blessed indeed, far greater than you now can realize.